Hi, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms and I want to welcome you all to my channel. Today we're going to do something a little different, a little fun. I am currently sitting in the parking lot of the Yield Goat. We are going to head on inside and I am going to give you a tour of not only my booth, but some of my top favorites. I want to show you all the different vendors that are in there. I'm not going to get to everyone, but I'm going to show you some of my top favorites. So in honor of Small Business Saturday, which is tomorrow, if you have heard haven't heard of Small Business Saturday, go out and support all your local businesses. Uh, it's a day that is dedicated to them. So, you know, today is Black Friday for all the big box stores. Tomorrow is Small Business Saturday. So go ahead, support those small businesses. And I want to show you all the different um, vendors that are inside the store. Uh, if this is the first time you've ever been to my channel, I'm all about DIY, uh, thrift flips, thrift hauls, like a day in the life of a small business owner. If that is the type of channel that you do like, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, which is that little bell. That way every Monday and Friday, you'll be notified when I upload a video. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. I love walking up to the Yield Goat. It's so classy, uh, the display that they have outside, and the feel of the whole store. It just is very welcoming, and you find the most amazing vendors there. So the first booth on the tour is my very own, and I have my tree right front and center. I did have an amazing display of bows. I cannot keep that stocked. Uh, they keep flying off the shelves. Uh, as we approach uh, my DIY paint display, uh, this has been definitely a hit. I am continuously restocking this as well. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the booth display as I give you the rest of the tour for, of my booth. The next booth that I am featuring is Williamsburg House. This booth is a mom and daughter duo and they each take a portion of the booth and they add their own unique taste to it. I am absolutely loving these pillows. Uh, I just love the vintage feel to them. And on Jamie's side of the booth, she takes items and she just upcycles them and adds her own unique uh, flip to them. Uh, I am so very fortunate to be able to call these two my neighbors. The 
the next booth that I'm featuring is the metal awning. And honestly, folks, look at this display. I, every time I come in to refresh my booth, I always have to take a peek to see what she's done to this booth. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, her dis design style, I love it. It feels like you've walked into a campground. I just love all of these pieces that she's always putting out. Uh, and the way she has her items displayed is always on par. So the next booth that I'm featuring is the Moose Out Front. This is Jeff and Tony's booth and they are avid upcyclers. They find the most unique pieces and they flip them. Uh, I love the way that they're constantly changing their booth displays, making them so fun and unique. And there is their amazing sign that they handcrafted as well. I just absolutely love the way they have their booth set up and I'm sure you're going to love it as well. This is my mom's booth, Tina Marie's Unique Boutique. You can also follow her on Facebook. Uh, just look up Tina Marie's Unique Boutique, uh, but I just love her display. My mom and dad work together as a team. My mom does most of the handcrafting portion of it, and then my dad helps her with all these amazing displays. He's also the painter, so he painted this awesome table and chair set but I just love their unique style. And when we both do vendor fairs, our two styles complement each other so well. I just could not do that without my mom by my side. So I hope you enjoy her booth as much as I do. This next booth is called Dear Lily Vintage, and she has the most amazing display of vintage items. Every time I stop into the GOAT, I have to walk by this booth. Uh, her display is always top notch, honestly, and she truly does have the most unique items. If you are looking for something vintage, you are going to find it in this booth. I hope you enjoy this little tour of her booth. The next booth is called The Junction, and Carrie seems to always find the most unique pieces. 
Every time I walk by her booth, I am always astonished at the different pieces that she seems to always find for display and to sell in her booth. Uh, she definitely has an eye uh, for her little vignettes that she has within the booth and I'm always taking a peek to see if I can find something to put in my own home. I absolutely love this display and this booth and I know you will too. This booth is called the Rustic Fence and Carolyn is the owner of this booth. Uh, she just has the best farmhouse decor. I love all the vintage whites and the creams and she always just has the best displays within her booth. This booth is called Jeb, Junkin Everyday Bliss, and you will absolutely love this booth. Uh, she does have the best vignette displays, and her and her husband are a team. Uh, she does all the upcycling. He's the carpenter that makes these amazing uh, display pieces and upcycles all these uh, farmhouse pieces. I just am always in awe what these two come up with. Uh, they go on these road trips fill their trailers up and uh, they just go to town and create, create, create. So I can honestly say that I am always wanting to buy something out of this booth. The last booth on this little tour uh, is called Lace and Jewels. This mom and daughter duo has a knack for getting as much as they can in this booth. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, you will definitely find some home decor when you walk through this booth. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to give you the tour. And like I said, go out and support all your local businesses, but we will see you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.